Jeremiah 18, verse 2. I'm, I'm just, just talking, talking for about um, um, five, five minutes, minutes and I'm done. Jeremiah 18, verse 2. You see, whenever time you go on television or you go to the social media, you go with an expectation. This man of God is a prophet of the living God. One day he was in his own abode. One day he was in his own abode. And while he was there, the Lord spoke to him. And the Lord said unto him, I am sending you to a place. Where I'm sending you to is not a church. It's not a crusade. It's not a Bible school. Hallelujah. Can somebody read for us? Yes. Arise and go down to the potter's house. Arise, go down. Don't go up, go down. At this particular moment, limit who you are. Come down. Amen. You are a prophet. Arise prophetically. Come down physically. Don't go to a prophetic house. Though he said arise. Amen. Let your prophetic ancient operate. And then come down to a what? A potter's house. Uh -huh. There I will cause you to hear my words. There you are not going to hear my words. I will cause you to hear praise God it means that there are places you you attend there is a television you are watching right now a, a music you are listening to right now some of the worship song our brother has been ministering it's a song but the lyrics of the song is the Lord causing you to hear from him it is not this is a studio this is not a church God said go to the porter's house I've got my word in the porter's house I will cause you to hear if you are if you want to hear physically there is nothing that look like the word of God over there but when I cause you to hear you will hear something that is of the Lord so no you, you can be watching me right now you don't know me anywhere you don't know anything about Yali TV it's your first time switching to Yali TV but it's my prayer the Lord calls you to hear his word through the music through the worship through the preaching and everything hallelujah what do I mean to say God can express himself with even a sound he can express himself in anything he is using the work of the porter to speak and if there is anybody that wants to know God if he goes to the porter's house he will say this is not a Bible school equally as you are watching you are like uh, but we are in the studio I need a prophet to prophesy to me I need a prophet to prophesy to me let me go to a prophetic house but listen to me even though today is a, this place is a studio but if you can open your heart for the Lord to cause you for the Lord to, 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 to suppress you for the Lord to engage you into hearing his word hallelujah God is going to use what we are doing today to bless your life I want you to know you are not here by accident it is the Lord that has caused you to be on Yarib TV right now your phone you are holding your phone but I want to let you know 
I know you are watching me maybe from your phone, from your laptop, whatever place you are watching me from. There is something I want you to understand that the Lord is going to cause you to hear something that you need. And whatever you need, as you look at us, may God cause you to feel it. May God cause you to begin to feel it, to begin to experience it. Is you know, if if I send you to a church, I don't have to participate in your hearing of the gospel. Amen. If I say go to school, I know you are going to learn. But if I say go there, I will cause you to learn. It means that the process of your learning is going to be by me. It's not going to be according to your normal human intellect. Are we together here? So we should understand this. God speaks to us in a mysterious way. Maybe you don't know us. You just flip to Yarp TV. The Lord is going to cause you to hear. To hear. Physically, you can't hear anything. But spiritually, He causes you to know that the song the young man was singing. It was a voice the Lord was communicating to you. The prophet before you on your phone today is the presence of divine visitation and the supernatural manifestation. Yarib TV is not just a normal place. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you study witchcraft, they have books. And even for somebody to be to be emancipated, those books also have to be bent. So it, it has to be bent. So if there is a need of books in witchcraft, then it automatically means that phone can also have a spiritual effect. Today, your phone is bringing you a blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I will urge you to stay tuned to Yari TV. Make sure you subscribe. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, I don't mind also. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Make sure to subscribe and we will bring you nothing but the best. In the field of sports, entertainment, religiously, spiritual subjects, matters that relate to our social life and our financial lives. God bless you. Stay with us. Peace be unto you. Yari TV, we cover everywhere. God bless you. <laughs>